Hello everybody and welcome, this is Edius here and today we're going to be doing a special little video now that the Pokemon Home has finally been released, be compatible with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your Pokemon all the way from your Generation 3 cartridges up to your Generation 9 cartridges using the tools you see before you. So I've already done two separate videos on this in the past. One from Generation 3 to 7, one from Generation 3 to 8, and now since we have the new Generation 9 and the update, I'll go ahead and do Generation 3 to 9. So the things that you're going to need for this is, first of all, you're going to need at least one copy of a Generation 3 game. Here I have a, a copy of Pokemon Emerald. It must be an authentic copy. This does not work with non-authentic copies. You will also need at least one copy of a Generation 4 Pokemon game. In this case, we have Pokemon Platinum. Uh, also needs to be a authentic copy. You also need a copy of Generation 5 Pokemon game. In this case, we have my favorite of the four, Pokemon White 2. If you could focus, please. Uh, you'll also need, of course, a copy of a Generation 9 game, which in this case I have Scarlet, but you'll also notice that I also have Violet over on my actual Switch over here. You will need at least two different DSs. It needs to be preferably two 3DSs, but if you have a DS Lite and a 3DS, that's also fine. But you need to have at least one 3DS in the partnership. You also need to make sure that, and this is the most crucial part, um, this is something that you cannot do if you did not download Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Transporter um, before the uh, Pokemon 3 or the 3DS uh, eShop shut down. So understand that this is not possible if you do not already have Pokemon Bank uh, and Pokemon Transporter, which I do have over here. This will not work if you don't already have these pre-installed. Now, you can use custom firmware to download these uh, if you do not already have the ability to do so. There are plenty of tutorials on the internet that you can find to download custom firmware. It's really easy to do, um, but I, I'm not going to be addressing any of that in this video, but you will need Pokemon Bank in order to complete this task. So, uh, you'll also, of course, need the second DS because we're going to be trading between different games through the DSs, uh, through the DS download system. Once we get all the Pokemon over... Uh, from my Emerald cartridge, we're going to be transferring it. Uh, actually, hold on, my bad. There's one thing I forgot to mention here. Uh, you will actually need a DS Lite. You'll actually need a DS Lite or an original model DS. Uh, either one works fine with this. The point is, is that you need to have one that has a Game Boy Advanced uh, cartridge slot and the DS cartridge slot. These are the only two uh, DS models that have that. The DSi, uh, which you can see right over here, there's the DSi, and the DSi XL, they do not have a Game Boy cartridge slot. So what we're going to be doing, first of all, is we're going to be transferring Pokemon from my Pokemon Emerald cartridge, and I'm just going to be using my uh, Game Boy Micro here. Plickety. We're going to be transferring Pokemon from here into my Pokemon Platinum cartridge right here through this DS. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this tutorial properly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and boot up Pokemon Emerald, and I'm going to show you exactly which six Pokemon I'm going to be transferring over during using this tutorial. Turn on battery ran dry, don't worry about that, it's not going to affect anything. My cat's trying to get up on my freaking desk. So you do have to save at a Pokemon Center. So right now I'm actually at the Battle Frontier. So I will need to go to Pokemon Center. We'll just go to the one here on Pacific Log Town. Doesn't really matter. So now let's select the six Pokemon who will be transferred through the generations. I do have a complete shiny dex, so we'll just go ahead with, let's see. Um, it has to be stuff that can be found in um, uh, Scarlet and Violet right now. So what I think we'll do, we'll take, is this a hacked Flareon? Yes, it is. Okay. So I don't, um, I can use hacked ones. So I'll just grab this Flareon here first. And I believe I actually have to have the top six on my party moved up. Oh, hold on. 
Let's try this. Uh, let's see. So we're going to grab the Flareon here. We'll replace it with the Venusaur. Um, what other pokes can we use? Well, we could go ahead and take this Groudon over here. This Kyogre. We'll grab this Rayquaza as well, because why not? And we'll go ahead and last one we will do will be... We'll say this Salamence. And then the Charizard that's already in that one spot, we'll just keep there. Oops. There we go. Alright. And that's all you need to do in Pokemon Emerald, so give me just one sec and we'll start off with Platinum. Once you've booted up one of your Gen 4 Pokemon games, whether it's Platinum, Diamond, Pearl, HeartGold, or Soul Silver, with Pokemon Emerald in the DS cartridge slot, or the Game Boy cartridge slot, rather, You'll go to your main screen, and it'll have this menu here that says Migrate from Emerald. You'll go ahead and click that. It'll say Make Pokemon Migrate from the Pokemon Emerald Game Pack. Pokemon cannot be migrated back to the original Game Pack. Press Yes. And we'll just choose the six Pokemon we want to migrate, which will be Salamence, Rayquaza, Flareon, Groudon, Ky whoops. Kyogre cannot be moved. Okay. Uh, we'll go with Raichu then. Nope, that can't be moved either, because it also has TM Surf, I think. Um, Alright, so then we will do Gardevoir, and finally Charizard. I'm going to migrate all six of these Pokemon over. It'll save the data on both cartridges here. Shouldn't take too long. Perfect, now they are ready in Platinum. Now I'm going to go ahead and start up on Platinum here. It's been a while since I started this game up. So, right now, what we're going to do is we need to head over to, if you haven't already gone to this area location, you need to head to Sand Gem Town. Uh, right now, I'm currently in Pastoria. Do I have any uh, Pokemon with Fly in my party? I have Zapdos, but I don't think it has Fly. It does not have Fly. So, I will teach it Fly, just for the sake of this tutorial. God, I don't know what I'm doing at all, do I? So just for the sake of the tutorial, I'll teach the Zapdos fly because I need to get around. Sorry about my cat. He is very noisy. Okay, then. So let's go ahead and fly to... Where we really need to be, which is down here, which I've already been to, it's on Route 221. And you need to take Sand Gem Town, you need to surf from Sand Gem Town south to get to this area. Once you've gotten to it though, this is where the Poke Pal Park is. And in this little Poke Pal Park is where we're going to be able to capture the six Pokemon we just transferred over. So we'll go ahead and talk to the guy at the front here. Pokemon Catching Show. Three, two, one, onward. So remember, we picked Flareon, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, uh, Charizard, and Gardevoir. Gardevoir is an easy one. We'll just go ahead and throw the ball at it. And these are ultra, these are instant catches, so you don't have to worry about messing it up. And then we'll just catch the second one over here, which is going to be our shiny black Charizard. If I remember correctly, Flareon is also caught in this grass. Toss the ball at it real quick. Perfect. Next, remember, we have Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza. Well, no. Groudon, Rayquaza, and Right. No. Groudon, Rayquaza, and... What was the other Pokemon we had? Give me a second. So over here in the mountain area, we should be able to get Groudon. 
if I remember correctly. Yep, there's our Groudon. And we've also got Salamence. That was the other one I forgot about. Perfect. Now I believe all we need is Rayquaza and we're good to go. Which I also think Rayquaza is in the mountain here. Maybe it is in the field. Hold on. Nope, it was in the field. I'm just an idiot. Alright, let's grab this Rayquaza real fast. And then I'll cut to when I already have them all on my PC. So give me just a moment. Okay, now that we're done with that, we'll go ahead and check out what we got. Just to show you that they're all in here. And it looks like they kind of went everywhere. Oh, no, no, they're all just right here. Okay, that's fine. But if I remember correctly, this is the game that I actually have to do the transfer over with uh, in the specific boxes. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and close this up and pop over to our next step of the process in just a moment. Okay, so this is where we come to the Generation 5 Pokemon games for Pokemon Black and White 2. So we'll boot up White 2 over here on the right. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this little mini game to transfer our Pokemon over to the Unova games. We're already at the Pokemon Transfer Lab, as you can see from the last time I did this. And over here on the DS, well, first let's start this up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go talk to this gentleman here, and he will allow us to initiate the DS transfer system between this DS to transfer Pokemon from Platinum over into this DS with White 2. So you got my team all lined up and everything. Okay. Now on this screen, pay close attention. So please insert that into another Pokemon thing and go to DS Download Play, which we will do here. Clicking DS Download Play. It will look for software in the vicinity. In here case, we have, as you can see, let me just pick it up. You can see it says Pokemon Transfer with White 2. Download the software. Fortunately, this still works regardless of the DS's Wi-Fi connectivity to the main servers since those are gone. But this is DS local download, so it'll still work. All right, sending in photo of the DS. And I don't remember which one it is, but one of these will the minigame will appear on. I think it's the DS Lite. So just give them a moment to communicate. Lots of dings and pings, huh? Alright. So we will select the six Pokemon to go over. Salamence, Rayquaza... Flareon, Groudon, Gardevoir, Charizard, and yes. And we'll put the item back where they go and all that. Yep, it is this DS. We'll do it. So this little mini game here. We'll be catching the Pokemon.
All right, perfect. Sorry we couldn't see that too well. I was trying to look around the corner to do it. Cannot be returned to transfer. Transfer Pokemon, yes. And then just give it a minute to do its due. All right, and it says if I want to do it again, I'm going to select no. And then this will turn off. So we're done with this now. We're done with the DS. We got all the Pokemon over in our white two copy now. Now we'll go ahead and go to my PC. And you can see we have box one empty and filled with all the Pokemon that we got. So now we'll just save the game. And meet you back over on the other DS. Okay, we are now over on my main 3DS. And you can see I have Pokemon White 2 in the cartridge slot. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Pokemon Transporter. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you did not download Poke Transporter onto your 3DS before March 12th or something of this year, uh, you cannot download it anymore unless you use custom firmware. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of tutorials out there on YouTube that you can find that you can help with that. I'm not going to be addressing that in this video. We're just going to go forward with the process from here, access Poke Transporter, and go from there. So it's asking me which of the games I want to use, and I'm going to be selecting White 2. Because I do have a copy of Gold on my DS as well. Just going to take a few seconds to a minute or two to connect with the Pokebank server. So they can't be returned. So any problematic Pokemon will not be allowed to be transferred. So for example, the max stat Flareon I had will not be able to be transferred, but I can still transfer the other four Pokemon, which is fine. So the max stat Flareon and the max stat Charizard that I hacked could not be transferred. So now I will exit Poke Transporter and go into Pokemon Bank. Now this is where the fun begins. Okay, so from here, you can see I have my Nintendo Switch out now. We're going to go into Pokemon Home, select my current profile. We're going to go to Pokemon Bank and start it up. And the cool thing about this is that even though we just transferred them over, we can just transfer them directly from home straight to, uh, straight into, sorry, straight from bank straight into home since we don't have to transfer it to the Generation 6 or 7 games or Generation 8 games since we're just transferring it directly to Scarlet and Violet. So as the two systems start preparing themselves, we're going to go over here to move Pokemon to home. Once my Pokemon Home is booted up, we'll start the process. Good to go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to Move on Switch and begin the move, and then click the same on the 3DS. Won't be able to do anything until it starts. It will ask me to enter a digit code that will allow the two systems to communicate. And we should have our Pokemon over here, but they're not, huh? Oh, right, 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 my bad. Forgot about that process, give me just a moment. Forgot, I actually have to take them out of Pokemon Transporter first. So let's do that real quick.
It doesn't really matter which game we're going to go with, but we'll go with Ultra Sun. And in the transporter box, we have these th these four guys, which I will transfer over to Pokebank box number 99 and press X to save the game. And we'll bring back our DR switch into the picture here. Okay, now we're back on this screen. We'll go back to move Pokemon to home. We're ready to go here. And now the Pokemon are where they're supposed to be. So we'll move all the Pokemon in this box, press done. And now on the switch, we're ready to transfer. And we'll enter the code, which is as follows. D4 F6. A, A, D, E, oops, E, F, D, X, S, 5, U, A, K, H. All right. And the Pokemon removed successfully. Well, the key was successful. Now we'll just give Pokemon Bank a minute. It'll say on this end whether or not... Okay, and it's successfully. And we'll give it just a moment, and I'll see the progress. All right, and let's see how we did. Should only take a second to log in. All right, there was no issue whatsoever. Bring the four Pokemon over. Now we'll go ahead and boot into Scarlet, which is the current cartridge I have in there. And look for our four little pretties. And they're all in box 32. And we'll just bring all of them over. And then we will save. It will erase each of their move sets, which is fine. That's kind of what it has to do in order to transfer. We'll close that out. Open up Scarlet and call this a finished tutorial. Okay, and we're in our game, so we'll just go to my box. I put them all in box 32, I think. Nope, 30. And as you can see, here we have my Celements, Rayquaza, Groudon, and Gardevoir. Unfortunately, Flareon and Charizard were left behind because they had hacked stats, but the rest of them came in through no problem. So that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video, guys. I really hope that this uh, little tutorial was helpful for some of you out there. Um, and I hope that you guys are enjoying Pokemon Home and Pokemon Scarlet compatibility as much as I am recently, especially bringing over all my overpowered legendaries that I had from previous games. It's always fun to fuck around and find out. So anyway, guys, that's going to go to this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see and want to see more, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel to see more of my content in the future. And until next time, this has been CDS. Make sure to find one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video. Kill him, Rayquaza!